Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about and looking at the brand new Black Templar animation that is coming from Games Workshop. For those of you who remember, this project used to be called Primaris Black Templar. This was uh, the, one of the big projects, a fan-made project um, that looked incredible. But since then, um, they partnered with Games Workshop and it has a brand new name now and it's called Altar of Wrath. The information we get in this article is in regards to the channel Chaplain. It says the chaplain in question is the star of Altar of Wrath, a new animation focusing on the Black Templar chapter. This tale follows a small band of space marines battered by years of conflict, seeking to put an end to a war once and for all. Now, the headline of this article states, Is Altar of Wrath the most photorealistic Warhammer animation yet? So, the question now, is this the most real life looking 40k animation and by the look at some of the images boy oh boy it does like the image in the background which we've been looking at as i've been talking with the helmet looks incredible but check out this face this face is probably one of the most detailed faces i've actually seen when it comes to a cgi animation i'm wondering how it looks when it's actually being animated because a photo can look you know amazing but when it comes to like you know the lips moving the eyes moving getting all the little bits of emotion that can go onto a face that is really where the hit or miss situation comes in but just looking at it from a visual standpoint like the blood the cuts the scars and um, the surface studs the little um uh, uh metal mohawk he's got on his head it looks absolutely incredible again this is this is probably a star at his level maybe maybe when it comes into terms of looking amazing probably outdoes a star is i'm not saying it's better than a star is we haven't seen any animation or anything before everyone starts raging at me in the comments i'm just saying in terms of photorealistic as they mentioned in the header this looks absolutely stunning and they go into details about some of the weapons and it says of course you can't have a chaplain without a crozius you can't have a chaplain without a crozius a chaplain without a crozius is not a chaplain get the hell out um it's both his mark of office and a deadly weapon perfect for smashing through hordes of xenos mutants and witches and you can see the little crozius in the background if you actually go over to the war my the article it is actually a gif or a gif how do we pronounce it gif gif if you pronounce it as a gif then you're definitely a xenos heretic um but yes if you go over to the website you can see it animated and it spins around 360 again it looks absolutely fantastic and incredible and lastly, they show off the devastating assault cannon. Um, the image looks fantastic. It looks amazing. Um, if you cast your mind back to when the Primaris trailer was on YouTube, um, the Terminator was um, uh, checking this, if I'm not mistaken, and it, it, it did look fantastic then. So, um, yeah, I expect this to be an absolutely amazing animation. I think this animation is more or less at the top of what I want to see now more than anything else because it is the Sons of Dawn. It is the Black Templars. You know me. I'm a huge Dawnian fan boy i'm a huge imperial fist fanboy i'm a huge black templar fanboy i've actually started to do my black templar force now for my last world protocol i know i had a bit of models in there before but i'm really starting to give the black templars love because they definitely need it and they definitely deserve it the outgoing paragraph says altar of wrath is set to be another incredible addition to the range of warhammer animated shows and you won't have to wait long for more news on the black templars bloody campaign i think that's in regards to this animation not in regards to you won't have to wait for news for black Black Templars, even though I have been saying now, um, I really do think Black Templars are going to get something because um, uh, uh, I've, I've been having information that there's a new Hellbreak model coming, so maybe they can release this around the same time as a potential Hellbreak model and bring some hype out. Wouldn't that be bloody um, amazing? Uh, to keep on top of the latest Warhammer uh, an, an, uh, announcements, it says, make sure you sign up for our dedicated animation newsletter and we'll send you updates of Alter Wrath and all the other amazing shows. We still have literally no information on how they're going to show this off. This is what I want now more than anything else in the bloody world how are gw going to show us this content i am 99.9 percent .9 uh convinced that this is going to be behind a paywall maybe i'm wrong that 0.01 percent and they all put it on their you know youtube channel and it's great it's fantastic but i think if gw uh, are putting this much effort into it they are going to monetize it in some type of way and that doesn't have to be a bad thing because if they earn a lot of money from that um then they can put that money into other animation projects we've seen that with netflix and stuff before where you know they they have such a brand now and a lot of people are subscribed to that um they they can go in and make their own shows movies and um, tv shows animations and stuff like that again i have said though to chat to charge people you have to have the content there and at the moment they actually don't have that content yes they have a few awesome shows but that's not enough to charge people on a monthly basis 
All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. As always, if you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below and we can have a nice little chat down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.